What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Gotsi for the Justin Gotsi Podcast. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Happy 4th of July to everybody out there, you know, serving our country, to the men and women who are serving our country, to our veterans, to everybody involved in, you know, military service. I really do appreciate you guys' you know, support, you know, helping us defend our country, defending our country. You guys are, you know, the true heroes in America, and this is your day, and we're celebrating you. You guys are fighting. Same thing that goes with the veterans of the of, of world wars. You know, you guys have done and helped us out in a big way to keep, you know, waving that American flag. You guys are the true heroes, and this is your day. This is also a day we can hang out with the family, have a great time. Barbecues are a must on the 4th of July, and then we are all ending it off with the fireworks show. So I hope you guys have a very safe holiday weekend, and I hope you guys, you you know, have a safe week, safe weekend in general is what I'm trying to get across. But today, guys, we're here going to be talking a little bit about sports. Everybody has to talk about sports at some point on the 4th of July. But, you know, sadly, this is a video where it's going to be on the down point. You know, this has been a big cluster week in the NFL with their news, whether it's Jimmy Graham's arbitration. Um, he is now considered a tight end. He can play wide receiver, and then he's trying to get more money as a wide receiver than a tight end. Jimmy Graham is being considered a tight end. And then you have the Kiko Alonso tearing his AC. And then today, the NFL has handed down two suspensions. And these are some two pretty big names when it comes to suspensions. A Deion Jordan of the Miami Dolphins has been suspended for four games for performance-enhancing drugs. This is his first violation. And then you've got Indianapolis Colts wide receiver LeVon Brazil. This is his second violation. He has violated the league's substance abuse policy. And, you know, this is not going good for LeVon Brazil right now. So let's talk about him as we were just talking about him. Now, LeVon Brazil is a wide receiver who I felt that could really step up in the Indianapolis Colts in the future. You know, what they have right now, T.Y. Hilton and Hakeem Nix, um, there's not really that much younger, you know, presence on the roster besides, you know, T.Y. Hilton. The team did go out in the NFL draft and they did pick up Dante Moncrief out of Ole Miss. I have considered Dante Moncrief a, a pretty much of a draft steal for anybody who wants to take the opportunity for him. With Reggie Wayne um, getting up third age, you know, he was the last remaining guy after the Indianapolis Colts cleared house. You know, Marvin Harrison's no longer there. Peyton Manning was no longer there. Dallas Clark was no longer there. And Reggie Wayne was the only, you know, efficient wide receiver on the roster. But, you know, his he's aging. He's progressing in age. And, you know, the injuries with his ACL last year, the team really needed to get much younger at the wide receiver. It's a whole new look for the Indianapolis. Colts. Then you also have Hakeem Nix, who has had a handful of you know good seasons, and then he's had you know off and on seasons where you know he has you know off games, bad games, uh, good games. So you know it's really you know self-centered right now with uh, Hakeem Nix. I can be, I think you can go with him for right now. But you know what? With the suspension handed down by the NFL, this is the first time the NFL has suspended a player you know for the entire year, and this is giving the this is you know putting word out there to the other players. What you put in your body is you're gonna to end up facing the consequences. The NFL has random drug testing, and you know what, Levon Brazil, when he, you know, when he did marijuana, I think that's exactly what he uh, took. Uh, I, I read an article that he was linked to the marijuana, and that was, you know, that showed positive on his uh, test. He he deserves what he got, you know. I I'm I'm not gonna sit on here and you know bash Levon Brazil. I respect him as a player, but you know what? A lot of these NFL players who are much younger than the new generation, in the NFL. You know, you may have a year underneath your belt, but you know what? You can still be caught up in that party lifestyle. You know, Johnny Manziel, the big rookie, the guy is in his early twenties, very early twenties, comes to the NFL. You know, he does his rookie mini camps and he goes to Las Vegas, and you know that it's apparently putting a bad image on the Cleveland Browns organization. You know, I supported Johnny Manziel. Up, but you know what? He is still that party kid. He's still in that party lifestyle. That's what everybody, when they go to college, they are all into the party lifestyle. And you know, it's going to keep on catching up to him. You know, there's a handful of NFL players who, you know, who continue to do the party lifestyle. They do get in trouble by the law. And you know, this is, you know, Levant Brazil. Thank God he has not been in trouble by the law at all. And you know what? He's able to go back and play next season. The 2015 season is the season where he really needs to look, uh, look at 2014 and this, you know, year long season suspension and look at what he did and just have to laugh it off. That's what you can only do right now. I'll, as long as it's nothing too, you know, you know, serious as in, you know, hardcore drugs, you know, marijuana is something you can take for the first time. And then, you know, it can be cleared out of your body within a day or two. And then, you know, you're going to be completely fine. So, you know, Levon Brazil, you know, taking, you know, this is a second suspension from the league. He was suspended four games last year. And, you know, that, you know, proved dividends. You know, we saw a lot of progression without Levon Brazil for the first four games. But, you know, 
though he's also played a big role when he was also on the roster. So um, LeVon Brazil, with him not being on the roster, he was originally supposed to be the team's number four wide receiver, but this now gives you know an opportunity to rookie Dante Moncrief to start. He has, he's going to be competing off against... Uh, the Rick Rogers who came who came to the team. So this team is going to be have a great you know wide receiver battle between Rogers and Dante Moncrief. I'm really pulling for Dante Moncrief because he's a really excellent wide receiver. Just watch his film over at Old Miss. You'll understand why he had a great quarterback in Bo Wallace. So you make sure you guys go and check out and you will understand why I think Dante Moncrief is that not good option for the number four role in Indianapolis. Now talking about Deion Jordan of the Miami Dolphins. Now Deion Jordan, this is his first violation of the you know, of the the NFL drug policy. Now, like I said, the, the NFL is going hardcore with this. You know, they're trying to, cl to clean the NFL of drugs. They're trying to clean everything out, and they're not, you know, scared to lay down the law. You, you know, LeVon Brazil, good example. You know, the one-year suspension. The NFL is really nailing down the law. You know, Deion Jordan um, has not been reported on exactly what he put into his body, but all we know, you know, he violated the league's performance-enhancing drug substance policy, and it's going to cost him four games. Not like Deion Jordan. Jordan really, you know, contributed a whole lot last year as, you know, his current status in the NFL is right now a huge draft bust. He has not done a whole lot. It was always, you know, you know, the other defensive players on the Miami Dolphins, I, I can't go off and name it at the top of my head right now. But you know what? The Miami Dolphins, the rest of the Miami Dolphins defense was, you know, performing well. And Deion Jordan was a guy who they drafted in the first round. A lot of people were expecting him to make a big impact in the NFL, having an excellent career at Oregon. But making his way over to the NFL has proved, you know, completely different. He has not uh, proved a whole lot to be, you know, a top defensive lineman or even be a starter in that book. Yes, his name is Deion Jordan. He was drafted in the first round. I mean, look at Ryan Leaf, the guy played out of his mind at Washington State, comes over to the NFL and completely craps the bed. But when it comes over to the defensive side of things, Deion Jordan's name is really right up there with, you know, one of the biggest draft busts, and, you know, not in NFL history, but is one of the biggest draft busts so far. And the Miami Dolphins were just trying to get rid of him. The Miami Dolphins were linked to trading Deion Jordan once the Philadelphia Eagles I think that, you know, Deion Jordan could have worked well with the Eagles. This team has a great defensive lineman. Uh, but, you know, the current situation is right now is, you know, will the team continue to explore options for Deion Jordan? I think that could be the right thing to do as, you know, this is just going to keep on, you know, putting a bad character right now. And, you know, for what he has done in the past, you know, his underperformance is just, that's the big thing. You know, that could cost him a job, and then you're putting that on top of, you know, bad performance. It's going to be a big, tough road for Deion Jordan. You know, he's really got to go into 2015 after week four and really just go out there and do work. You can't be like... Uh, just have a complete another down year. That's the biggest thing that he just cannot do. He needs to be more efficient on the defensive side of things, and that's something that he did not, you know, improve on when he was coming over to the NFL. That was one of his main concerns: is that is he going to be more efficient? You know, he has had some good games. He had some bad games at Oregon, and you know, coming to the NFL, he has not been that, you know, Deion Jordan that we once saw. You know, the big highlight Deion Jordan, the guy who's a hard hitter. We have not seen that yet in the NFL from him. So I think he needs to look at this and be like, okay, while I'm on suspension, I got to hit the weight room. I got to keep on getting, you know ready for you know the week five my my uh 2014 uh debut you got to get ready you got to get everything going you got to keep more active you know being more active in the gym and getting ready for your week five debut for the nfl season you got to get everything going and Deion jordan really needs to use this time to really look back at the situation laugh it off and go back to work and hopefully that he doesn't do another stupid decision the same thing goes with levon brazil while he's off for a year this this is not you know a time to be celebrating you you know you, you violated the nfl substance abuse policy so you know that's something that's going to be very crucial and it's going to hit you you know hard you know as a person you know you, you can't believe what you did and it's, it's costing you a year of what you love to do and that's play football it's going to cost you a year of your job um it's still not been announced if it's going to be you know without pay or if it's with pay or you know whatever the case may be he still violated the nfl's you know substance abuse policy and Deion jordan you know violated the league's performance enhancing drug substance policy. So both of these players are being are being suspended and while Brazil being suspended for a year, Deion Jordan for four games. Let me hear your guys' opinion about this. I would love to keep on discussing about this. Leave your comments down below. I would love to answer any questions for you guys. Make sure to keep on, you know, checking me out on Instagram. Follow me on 
uh, Twitter, almost said Facebook there. Also, you know, add me, add me as a friend on Facebook. You know, I add just about every uh, every sports fan out there. Um, please do not spend, send me any spam. I got a couple of spam messages. So if you're a spam account, please do not add me. I really do, you know, appreciate my privacy. You know, um, I'm very close to you, everybody out here because you guys always leave, you know, good comments about my videos. So if you want to see some more videos on NFL, MLB, professional wrestling, college football, you name it, make sure you click that subscribe button. I'll be happy to subscribe back. Just leave a comment down below. I'll be more than welcome to. I'm Justin Gotti for the Justin Gotti Podcast, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.